am Louise Fletcher and I help artists to find their own unique creative voice. Today I want to show you some colour mixing, specifically how to avoid ever buying tube greens. You do not need to buy a tube green, ever. Let me show you why. A few blues, a black, a couple of yellows, you can have so many greens you won't know what to do with them all. Let's get started. So I am starting out with a cool blue, which is thalo turquoise, a warm blue, ultramarine, black, lemon yellow and cad yellow, which gives me quite a variety but you could start with any blues that you have any yellows that you have if you know which are warm and cool that will really help you to know what you're going to get but you'll find out anyway warmer colors are going to make more warmer colors when mixed together so for example I started out working with ultramarine blue which is warm with the warm yellow but when I switched to the cooler blue I suddenly got, you see this much sharper green that I'm getting now with the same yellow. So it only have to change one of the two to make a different green. Now, like I say, don't get hung up on what's warm and what's cool. If you don't know, if you want to know more about that, you can just look at uh, any video about a color wheel or color warmth. And I'll probably make a video about that at some point. But for now, all you need to know is mix together a blue and a yellow then switch out when you've got some colors from that and you can get more colors than i'm doing by the way by changing the quantities but when you've tried out that then switch one of the two so maybe keep the same blue but switch the yellow and then see what happens and of course if you've got more blues and more yellows than this you can try it with all of them you are going to end up with so many colors you won't know what to do with it and there's no way that you can buy this many colors in tubes so i've now gone to back to much more the warmer end of the spectrum and i'm now trying black with these colors now when you put a little bit of black in you are desaturating what was there you're taking some of the color out so you only need the tiniest amount of black to totally change the color all over again it's fascinating so I'm putting now, though, I'm using black instead of blue. So this is black and lemon yellow. And just look what happens here. We get these olivey, very natural looking greens as opposed to some of the harsher greens, less likely to be seen in nature. These are greens that you're more likely to find in nature. And a lot of people don't realize what black can do as a mixing color. But this is Mars black, I believe. Doesn't really matter what black you've got. Just try anything that you've got. Um, but I'm trying it here with the warmer yellow now. So I started with the lemon yellow, but now I'm on the cadmium yellow. And it makes brownie greens. Now, as a contrast, if I go back to that thalo turquoise, try another mix with yellow. Look at the difference in the greens. These are sharp, and if I put white in, I get this lovely minty colour. Very, very cool feeling. And I just keep, in this video, I'm just going to keep mixing up my greens now. So it is a process of just trying out anything. As I go much more towards the blue and black mixed with some yellow, I'm getting greys, almost grey greens, which is beautiful. So let me just finish off this page. So now I thought to get some yellow ochre just to show you. So this is a very different yellow. And if I mix this in with these colors, what does that do? So first with the thalo turquoise, let's see what that does. And changing the amount of blue in it to get a slightly different shade. And then adding in little bits of other things to it now yellow ochre and black what does that do so now we're getting really deep natural olivey mucky greens really kind of dirty greens really can be very beautiful when contrasted with something much more bright and colorful add some white to that and it's you see how it's kind of bright lovely brownie neutrals 
and I just keep adding into them. I'm adding all the colours in now. Go back in, put some blue into that mix that was originally black and yellow ochre. Now put some white and some more yellow ochre in. And the page is done. And as I said, just look how many beautiful colours that we can make from that. There really never is a need to buy a green. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So hopefully I've inspired you to go explore a whole new world of colour mixing. I'll be sharing more of these videos, of course. So do subscribe, hit the bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post. You don't want to miss one. And I'll be back soon. See ya. Bye.